remain confident of a 50% growth in vehicle production uh, in 2022 versus 21. But like I said, growing exponentially uh, with uh, them achieving high volume by the end of this year. Currently, Tesla has ramped up its Gigafactory Texas production to deliver Model Ys to customers in quarter two of 2022. The company plans to produce 1.5 million vehicles in 2022, which would be an epic feat as previously Tesla made about 930,000 vehicles in 2021. Besides that, the goal of Giga Texas is to be at around 500,000 vehicles this year. Musk even revealed that Giga Texas would produce 20,000 electric cars per week in 2022. So, how can Giga Texas reach such a large output? If you want to find out more, then stay tuned until the end of the video. But before we start, please show your support by subscribing to our channel and ringing the bell so you won't miss any of our interesting videos in the future. Now without any further delays, let's get started with today's content. Tesla has said it hopes to ramp up Gigafactory Texas's capacity to manufacture approximately 20,000 units per week in the year of 2022. Some experts even forecast that Giga Texas will reach a production of 15,000 to 20,000 cars per week by the mid-second quarter of 2022. So how can experts confidently claim to give such numbers? Musk expected Tesla's manufacturing prowess to give it an edge over other EV makers. Accordingly, he explained that all cars will be electric in the future, eventually all cars will be autonomous. Hence, Tesla always pushes into the EV production process with a series of modern technologies. Giga Texas is a fast-growing modern manufacturing plant. Its production capacity may make other automakers wary. Elon Musk also had this to say about Giga Texas. This is the largest factory building in the world, and this building is the, the, the most advanced car factory that Earth has ever seen. Alien technology. This is... Uh... Exactly. Uh, you, you know a factory is uh, advanced if it feels like an alien dreadnought landed. Indeed, the Giga Texas factory applies most modern machines in production. Presently, Tesla says its production lines are over 85% automated. Despite this, the firm is always seeking ways to automate more of the manufacturing process. Now, Giga Texas owns four gigapresses with a maximum operating capacity of 73.1 tons per day per machine. That's over 280 tons per day. They have a cycle time of around 80 to 90 seconds, which translates to an output rate of 40 to 45 completed castings per hour, or about 1,000 castings per day. Having four huge die cast machines shows how serious Tesla is in reaching its 20,000 per week vehicle production goals in Giga Texas's first year. At the same time, Tesla's CEO, Elon Musk, said that Tesla's new factory in Austin, Texas would need over 10,000 people by 2022. Doubling the minimum number of hires the company initially indicated, it became known that, as of recently, over 5,000 employees already work at Giga Texas. Tesla is also very focused on recruiting talent to work at Giga Texas, especially those who have experience in using high-tech robots and new technologies for producing EVs. At present, Giga Texas is hiring people for engineering, manufacturing, operations, and construction. A quick search through Tesla's official website reveals all the jobs the company has opened for Giga Texas. Tesla has 42 jobs listed under the construction and facilities category, including senior superintendent, facilities electrical engineer, staff construction manager, and construction superintendent. Additionally, Giga Texas has over 200 open vacancies. Furthermore, although now Giga Texas has fewer than 3,000 employees than Giga Shanghai, Giga Texas will own a large number of Tesla bots. Musk also plans to use 6,000 Tesla bots for Giga Texas in the future. He says that the robots will specialize in doing monotonous tasks such as heavy lifting and serving food or drinks. It'll also be able to hold tools and recognize gestures from humans. Since the robot doesn't need to eat or sleep, it could work well beyond the healthy operation limits of humans. It also can't experience the burnout of working long hours each day. The perfect employee. Also, according to Musk, Tesla bots will be able to perform dangerous work. It's been often said that for Musk, the manufacturing process is as equally important as what is being manufactured. In this view, revolutionizing the manufacturing process isn't just a means for creating better products, but a crucial priority. 
Not only that, it seems like robots and other machines are doing quite a lot of the work in the Tesla factory. While there are humans involved in manufacturing, most processes are automated. The factory has a lot of robots of different sizes and complexities. Some robots on the manufacturing floor are small, and some are big enough to lift an entire car. Still, some robots are incredibly complex and can carry out delicate tasks and even switch up their tools to perform different jobs. On the other hand, some robots are very simple, with only minimal programming and some proximity sensors. Such robots are mainly used to transport heavy items from one part of the Gigafactory to another, along a fixed route mapped out by magnetic strips on the floor. On top of that, Tesla's manufacturing process aims to utilize automation to the fullest. The standard for other automobile producing factories is to use robots mainly for heavy lifting or high-speed methods. Tesla's goal is to incorporate state-of-the-art robotics and other technology as efficiently as innovatively possible. So even though Tesla has thousands of people employed in the Gigafactory, automation is a key characteristic that shows up in almost every step of the manufacturing process. Ultimately, this is how Tesla will achieve 20,000 cars per week at Giga Texas, and how Tesla optimizes the production process from giant aluminum coils into a car. Some of this aluminum weighs as much as 20,000 pounds. A robot lifts up these coils from above and feeds them into another machine called the blanking machine. The blanking machine uncoils the aluminum and flattens it. Then it uses special tools, including lasers, to cut the uncoiled aluminum into flat sheets called blanks. The blanks are then transferred by robots from the blanking machine into a giant press. This press then stamps the blanks into the required shape. This forms parts of the car such as the doors, hoods, side panels, and trunks, which will later be assembled to create the body and chassis of the car. Finally, a beautiful looking, completely functional electric car emerges at the end of the assembly line. A quality test is carried out on each car to ensure everything is in place and that the car's performance is up to par. Because of Tesla's long waiting list, every car that leaves the factory most likely already has an owner. And another thing, a lot of sub-processes are carried out within the same factory. The fact that almost everything is made under the same roof helps the company to cut costs. It also makes production much faster. This is particularly important because the demand for Tesla cars exceeds the number of cars the factory dishes out. And that's it for today's episode. We'd also like to take the time to thank you for your support of Tesla Car World. Our content continues to improve in quality all thanks to viewers like you. So if you have any thoughts about the episode, please leave a comment down below. And if you enjoyed today's episode as much as I did making it, please like, share, subscribe, as well as ring that bell so you won't miss out on the next one. Once again, thank you so much. From all of us here, we hope to see you again next time. Until then, have a good one and be safe.